Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to run a basic linear regression, also called ordinary least squares regression or OLS. So for this example we're going to use the automobile data. So let's load that data by just typing sysuse auto and you hit enter. Alright, data set has been loaded. Let's have a look at it. We type br short form for browse, we hit enter. Okay, so in this example we will try to figure out what determines the price of the cars. So we have here the variable price for each car and here on the right we have a bunch of other variables. Let me go back to Stata. So the regression command is called reg. We type reg and then the syntax is reg, dependent variable, and independent variables. So our dependent variable is price. We want to learn more about this variable, so we type reg price. And then we just input the list of all the other variables. You can do this by just selecting all the variables using the shift key and then double clicking them. That did not work. There we go. All right. So now again, this is reg, which means regress. Price is our dependent variable, and this is just a list of all the other variables that we're interested in. Now we hit enter. All right. This is the regression output we get. We see here again the command we just entered. Here we have some test statistics that we are currently not. We don't care about these right now. What we do care about is this table down here. This is the output of the regression. Here we again see the dependent variable which is price. And we are particularly interested in this column here which is the p-value. So uh, as you know from statistics we're looking for very small p-values. Uh, if the p-value is very small, <coughs> uh, basically the, the smaller the p-value is, uh, the more uh, significant is the correlation of that respective variable with the dependent variable. So as we can see here, uh, let's assume we look at the significance levels of 1%, 5%, and 10%, uh, which is pretty common, for instance, in corporate finance. Uh, I don't know about car research. <laughs> I don't know what levels they use. But so what we find here is, for instance, that we have a significant uh, correlation at the 1% level between weight and price. We go on. Next significant variable is length. This is at the 10% level. Okay, why is it at the 10% level? Because the 0 0.06 is above the 5% level, but it's below the 10% level. And that's what we call, it is statistically significantly correlated at the 10% level. And the last variable that is significant, taking into account that uh, we don't care about anything above 10%, is foreign. So foreign is uh, 0 0.001, which means that foreign is significantly correlated with price at the 1% level of statistical significance. Okay, so we have a total of three variables that are significantly correlated. Uh, that's why we focus here first on this column. We don't care about the coefficients if they are not significant anyway. Okay, <clears throat> so now that we know that weight, we said it is correlated significantly with price. So next what we do, we do look at the coefficient. So we find that the coefficient between weight and uh, price that was estimated by the regression is 4.5. That means if weight goes up by one unit, the price goes up by 4.5 units. Okay, so positive correlation. Basically, uh, the, the heavier the car is, the more expensive it is. The next variable that was significantly correlated is length. <coughs> Here, it's a correlation at the 10% level, and it is negative. Okay, so it's negative 76.5. That means if length goes up by 1, the price goes down by... 76.5 okay so uh, from these two variables we learn that a car is more expensive if it's heavier and if it's shorter that's what we know so far 
Well, let's go on. The last variable that was statistically significant was foreign. Actually, that's the highest statistical significance that we have in this regression. And here, <coughs> the coefficient is above 3000. So, foreign, <coughs> uh, if the car is foreign, uh, it is more expensive by 3335. Okay, so to summarize what we learned so far, the car is more expensive it is if it is heavier. Okay. It is more expensive if it's shorter. So if the length is lower, the price goes up. That's why it's negative here. And if the car is foreign, the price also goes up. So that's just the basic interpretation of the, this, these results. <coughs> Uh, from we know that all the other variables that we see here are not significantly correlated with the variable price in this regression estimate. Um, that's what we know so far. All right, guys. I hope this was helpful and uh, have a good time. Ask your questions, subscribe, like the video, and have a nice day. Bye.